Hi everyone, my name is Carla Aguayo. I am the program director at Arts for All Florida. As part of our 40th anniversary celebrations, each month we are highlighting our amazing programs that provide support and champion arts education and cultural experiences for and by people with disabilities. I am joined today by Brianna Larson and Haley Buxton to talk about the Young Performers Program. The Young Performers Program seeks to identify talented artists with a disability ages 14 to 24 to encourage and support the likelihood for a successful career in the arts. Brianna is an actor, playwright, director, teaching artist, and the president of Blue Butterfly Productions in Clearwater, Florida. She is also the artistic director of Theater Exceptional, an extension of Blue Butterfly Productions that produces two plays every year raising awareness and eliminating the stigma often placed on disability and mental illness. Haley is a musical theater performer, an Arts for All Florida Young Performers Program winner, and a youth ensemble member. Thank you both so much for joining me today in this conversation. You're welcome. It's an honor to be here today. I wanted to start by asking Brianna about Theater Exceptional and how you met Haley. Sure. Um, I started Theater Exceptional uh, with my family in uh, the summer of 2015, and our mission was to create work for, about, and including artists with disabilities so that they'd have a chance to train, hone their skills, and a place to just express themselves. Um, and uh, in 2016, we produced our first musical, The Wizard of Oz, and uh, Haley was one of the students that uh, joined us at our audition. And uh, as soon as she walked in, I recognized a talent. She had such confidence. Uh, she came in very prepared. Uh, she was right off the bat, clearly a leader um, among the group of students that was there, even though she was one of the youngest people in our group. Even at that young age, she, uh, she just was such a talent. Um, she came into the audition and um, told me right off the bat, she was interested in the role of Glinda. So I had her sing and I had her uh, read some uh, pages from the script with a, another student. And as she was doing her, her reading, I realized she wasn't even looking at the script that I had given her because she knew what she wanted. She had done her homework and she came in 100% prepared for this audition. And uh, we uh, very proudly cast her in the role of Glenda in that production. And she's had a major role in all of our musicals that we've produced since then. <laughs> That's amazing. Haley, it sounds like you were an incredible auditioner. Um, how did you yeah. first come to hear about the Young Performers Program and how did you prepare to apply for it? Well, I first heard about the Young Performers Program through one of my instructors with Revolutions Dance. Mm -hmm. So basically I prepared to apply by reviewing some of my film performances with my mom and we would choose the top three out of the ones we had and we'd submit them as part of the application and the videos what we were looking for featured me performing in musical theater and or singing. And did any of those things happen to include uh, your work with Blue Butterfly Productions? But as a matter of fact, yes. Amazing. And what has been your experience like working with Arts for All and now as a youth ensemble uh, member? It's been an honor and a real treat because I get to work with others who love music, theater, and dance just as much as I do. For example, we worked on, with the youth ensemble, my favorite things, love the sound of music, and in, in March of this year, and then June, July, like shortly around and after my 21st birthday, um, we did This Is Me from The Greatest Showman, a good, a good song and an anthem for those with disabilities. Arts for All has been creative throughout the pandemic, putting individual performers videos together into one big performance video like they did with My Favorite Things and This Is Me. It's been a lot of fun. That's amazing. And we have to give a little shout out to Matt Weimuller and Paul Gavin who um, have been working with us tirelessly 
uh, in putting those videos together. Just so you guys know, we are actually going to interview Matt Weimuller, and you'll see him in a different interview in, a, in the upcoming weeks. But um, this has been done completely remote, which is so exciting because, of course, since the pandemic, things have been a little bit limited. But uh, as Haley mentioned, we just had to get creative and find a way to continue putting content out there, especially with our aspiring artists in the youth ensemble. Um, Brianna, as someone who has mentored a young performers program winner, what is some advice that you can share to prospective applicants to the program? Sure. Um, I think if you are a performer who's interested in applying to this, um, pick material that you are really excited about. Pick songs that you love, pick monologues that really inspire you or get you pumped up. I think that's um, so, so much of a good audition is just being um, really passionate about the material you're doing. So I say spend some time and pick something that you really, really love. And Haley, is there anything you would like to add for some prospective applicants? Sure, my advice would be go ahead and apply because you're, you, regardless of whether you win or not, you're gonna get feedback from professional judges and that feedback will help you grow as an artist. Excellent. Well, this was great. And thank you both so much for sharing some insight about your experiences. We are now accepting applications for the 2021-2022 Young Performers Program. The deadline to apply is Friday, January 14th, 2022. You can register on our website at artsforourflorida.org. That's A-R-T-S, the number four, A-L-L-F-L-O-R-I-D-A dot O-R-G. Thank you both so much and have a great day, everybody. Thank you.